Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and a very Merry Christmas to anybody who has decided to tune in and watch this. Thank you very much. Your support throughout the year has been phenomenal, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. So, as the title says, yet another Royal Mint moan. Um, but what exactly this time? Firstly, what I will do is I will give you the update on um, the set that I've ordered and I've been waiting, you know, what seems like an absolute age for. Um, it is the, uh, the annual set. Um, I don't know where you find it in here. Um, is this it here? Uh, it was ordered back in October. Um, it was finally dispatched a, a week or so ago. Um, 24 hour delivery. Um, but unfortunately, um, let's do King Charles Definitive Set. There we go. Oh no, it was there a minute ago, now it's disappeared. Um, unfortunately, it's still showing us in transit. So I contacted the Mint, um, I don't know, um, last week sometime. Didn't get a response at all from them. Um, I don't want videos, I want the actual coins. Um, didn't get a response, so I emailed them again um, Thursday or Friday. Uh, got a response back to say that they were looking into it and um, worst case scenario, they'll send, there we go, that's the set. They'll send me a replacement set out. Um, and as a gesture of goodwill, they would also um, refund me the £33 um, to my account. It hasn't been refunded yet, so I don't know. But they did say three to five working days, and, you know, with it being over Christmas, I'm not expecting anything major. Right, now getting on to the actual video and the reason for this today. <coughs> so... Most of you guys will know the Royal Mint each year run a 12 day of Christmas giveaway. Um, well, each day they give away a, a new coin and I think the final one you can win all of them. It's not necessarily a coin, sorry. This one was Shirley Bassey, um, tree decorations. Um, not too sure what these ones were. A touch of tradition at Christmas, uh, Royal Mint experience, uh, nice little sixpence there, um, and you can see they've listed all of the winners um, on their website. Now, what is causing a lot of anger, a lot of upset? Um, Good luck in getting this set, Wayne. <laughs> uh, congratulations, firstly, to all of the winners, bar one. <laughs> and this is what is getting a lot of people on Facebook um, groups extremely upset. You'll see here, the last one, Make It Snow This Christmas. This is the gold 50p snowman, won by none other than Ian Paul a Lambert. Now I'm sure that I don't need to tell you guys who he is. Um, he is the owner, whatever you want to call it, of the Great British Con Hunt. Now regardless of my opinion of Mr. Scambert and anything else about him, the fact is that Mr. Lambert on several occasions has taken large sums of money 
in a form of investments I think they're probably on round three or round four of investments which in other words to me just sounds like a Ponzi scheme you know I mean how many more rounds of investments are you going to take now the reason he was taking investments um, for this was to sue the Royal Mint now this has been ongoing for maybe four five six years maybe longer uh, I'm just going to pause you for one second okay um, <coughs> sorry um, just paused you for a second while I was checking something um, but here we go so he was basically suing the Royal Mint um, allegedly let's put that in huge huge brackets he has bad mouthed them continually slagged off their staff members called them a monopoly um, um, f committing fraud on a huge scale all of these things and yet he is the winner of the largest prize on their 12 days of Christmas giveaway now for transparency I wouldn't have expected the Royal Mint to draw the winner for that see it's Ian Lambert and throw his name away and pull out another one what I would have expected is Ian Lambert to have been excluded from entering any form of competition from the Royal Mint I and not only I as I said it's all over Facebook today people are absolutely appalled and disgusted by this quite rightly so now let's just have a look now we're on to the Great British Coin Hunts uh, YouTube channel here and I've searched his videos and gone by his most popular so this top one the Royal Mafia issues an official statement that's the Royal Mint he is couldn't out with their calling Mafia the next one Royal Mint admits treason um, where are we Royal Mint here how to scam them out of 10 peas from their tills uh, another one here money laundering crowdfunding conspiracy Royal Mafia Royal Mint it, it, it's just treason back me layman's terms this is him discussing the royal mint and calling them all sorts of names it is just absolutely astounding to me that they would allow somebody like that to go and win their largest prize that they have it's nothing but short of criminal in, on, in all honesty genuine collectors genuine uh, uh, people who shop at the Royal Mint entered this co uh, competition not really expecting hoping they might win congratulations to all of the winners on here I think you've done a phenomenal job to get a, a prize from them you know it is it's brilliant well done and what a great Christmas for, for a lot of you with some of these prizes some real real special prizes on here nice bit of gold there lovely lovely year set I love the definitive collection this year I think it's beautiful one of the best that I've seen but then to find that the star prize is won by the single biggest criticizer um, of, of the Royal Mint I find nothing short of astounding um, I hope to God I don't know because I, I, I think I only entered one of their competitions this December um, several reasons like I've said I, I've been disheartened with um, the Royal Mint you know and, and, and coin collecting quite a bit these past two or three months with the saga of my year set and, and everything else so I, I only entered one but I pray to God that somewhere 
in the terms and conditions of these competitions I don't know if you can even find the terms and, com uh, terms and conditions of them but I pray to God that somewhere in there there is something that will prevent him from getting this coin because I just find it disgusting I mean not that it really matters but I wouldn't be surprised if the moron hasn't got it up for sale already I mean not that that matters um, and it's just I would just let me just give a bit of context to, to, to this as well from personal experience now the person in question um, which, you know it really grates me to even say the name um, most of you will know took out I don't know 12 16 court cases against me um, and really to his annoyance um, it went to court locally to me which really upset him uh, <laughs> um, and again when it went to court real annoyance to him again the judge um, put all of the cases as one um, and relisted it for a hearing and Mr Lambert didn't um, send in the required documentation in time and all of the cases against me were dismissed now this is what he does um, I mean that would have cost him over a thousand pound which again he crowdfunded or, or sought investment to sue me but this is what he does he'll issue investments saying that he is going to sue people and never ever does it it's a lie it's a scam and yet people still fall for it and i'm just you know as i say the most popular videos on his channel you can see it the royal mafia the royal mint admits treason um the royal mint here uh how to con them out of 50 p's uh 10 p's sorry royal mafia uh where are we royal mint money laundering i mean it's just it's disgusting that he's even allowed to enter these competitions let alone win them and this is what i i can't say this directly but but it's 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 reasons like this that have really just made me question whether i want to continue collecting anymore i think that the the collecting community i would say pre-covid was a really nice close-knit connected community and i'm going to probably upset some people now um now i see it as quite toxic everybody is out to make as much money as they possibly can and that is something that seriously grates me you know um i you've seen me on my channel when we were doing regular updates uh uploads giving away countless good good worthy coins um i uh the a to z sets we've given away we've given away god knows how many silver proofs um you know and and Lou's the same when she was coming on the prizes that Lou would give away but people just aren't interested now it, it's all what I can make on the back of it and this really I think <laughs> I was going to say what a way to start the year but it's not is it but it, it is one hell of a way to end the year now as I say I pray to God that there is something available in the um, terms and conditions that mean he won't get this what I would urge everybody to do is to contact the Royal Mint um, I'm not sure how it works let me just have, I've got email contacts but I'm not going to give those out on a public video um, 
Ah, oh, there we go. Look, you can just if you click the contact us at the bottom, you just fill in your name, address, uh, email, um, and you can tell them. Yeah, make a complaint. Uh, product would be the gold Christmas snowman, or, or you could put twelve days of Christmas, and then put the co uh, your comment in there, because I'm sure, as I say. I've heard it all over Facebook. I'm not in a lot of the groups. There they are. There's another one. Um, customer services. Customer dot services at royalmint.com. Um, I left a lot of the groups when I was losing faith with um, the Royal Mint um, and, and the enjoyment that I get from collecting coins. So I left a lot of the groups. But it's all over Facebook today. People seriously upset about this so I would urge you to you just from the home page just come down to the bottom and uh, where's it gone click on contact and there's two ways that you can do it you can do it through their form or email them um, where did it go there customer.services at royalmint.com um, because I'm sure like many of you, you know, I feel that this is a complete slap in the face and I, I just think it's disgusting, I really, really do. Um, sorry to put a dampener on your Christmas, <laughs> um, but it had to be said and you know me, if it has to be said, I'll say it. So Merry Christmas to you all, hope you have a wonderful time and fingers crossed we'll be back to doing some lives in the new year love and respect and see you soon